Cut! There is material here, Watson. There is scope. I was dull indeed not to see its possibilities. Now I confess it's dark to me. That to me also. But I now have hold of an idea which may lead us far. Now, I think Sir James, the guardian of the plans, claims our first attention. Plumstead Hall! Well, Holmes? Your idea? Oh, yes. The man West was killed not by falling or being thrown from a moving train. He met his death elsewhere, and his body was on the roof of the carriage. On the roof? Well, consider the facts. Is it a coincidence that the body was found in the very place where the train breaks and sways as it comes round on the points? The sudden slowing would affect no object inside the carriage, but an object such as a body on the roof. And there's a question of the blood. Of course, there was no bleeding on the line if the body bled elsewhere. Each fact is suggestive in itself. Together they have a cumulative force. Yes, and, and the ticket too. That would explain the absence of the ticket. Watson, it all fits together. Gentlemen, thank you, Baines. Thank you, sir. If you follow me, the body is upstairs. Wait, wait one moment. Are you not the undertakers? Excuse me, Sir James. I am Dr. Watson, and um, this is Mr. Sherlock Holmes. Good heavens. We are helping the authorities in the case of the missing papers. And my brother. Sir James Walter died this morning. I am Colonel Valentine Walter. Please, gentlemen, come here. We are very sorry, sir. Thank you. I'm afraid it has been a great shock. May I ask, how did your brother die? It was this horrible scandal. My brother is... My brother was a man of very sensitive honor. He was fiercely proud of the efficiency of his department. The theft of the plans was a crushing blow. It broke his heart. We were hoping Sir James might have been able to help. I assure you, it was as much a mystery to him as it is to all of us. Naturally, he had no doubt that West was guilty, but why he should have done such a thing? Now, of course, we shall never know. So, you can throw no light on the matter? Me? I'm afraid I know nothing, save what I've read or heard. And you never met Cadogan West? No, no, I have not been back in the country long. My brother's work was of a highly confidential nature. He did not discuss it with me. Gentlemen, I do not wish to seem discourteous, but we are much disturbed at present. I must ask you to hasten this interview to an end. Of course. Mr. So Solid, of course, you so much trouble. <laughs> Dead man's fiance.
cannot explain it, Mr. Holmes. I haven't closed my eyes since the tragedy. Thinking and thinking and thinking what the true meaning of it can be. Do sit down. Arthur was the most single-minded, chivalrous, patriotic man on earth. He would have cut off his right hand rather than sell a state secret confided to his keeping. It's absurd, impossible, preposterous to anyone who knew him. No, the facts, Miss Smith. Was he in want of money? No. His needs were very simple, and his salary was sufficient. He'd saved a few hundreds, and we were to marry at the new year. Was there any sign of mental excitement? Come, Miss Westbury, be absolutely frank with us. I had a feeling there was something on his mind. For long? Only the last week or two. Once I asked him about it, it is too serious to speak about even to you, he said. Go on, Miss Westbury. I mean, even if it seems to turn against him, we cannot say where it may lead us. He spoke one evening about a... a secret. I think he said that no doubt foreign spies would pay a great deal to have it. He said that we were slack about such matters and they would... It would be easy for a traitor to get hold of the plans. Oh, Mr. Holmes, if you could only, only save his honor. It was so much to him. I'll do what I can. Now, please tell us about that last evening. It was Monday night. And... We were to go to the theater. Violet, I'm afraid I've got to leave you. Leave me? It's very, very important. I'm sorry. You'd better go home. Go home immediately, please. just here, Mr. Holmes. And he disappeared without any explanation? Yes. You are sure this is the exact spot? Yes. We often used to meet here when we were courting. You see, that's the building where he used to work. Ah. That was the last time I saw him. Oh, what's the was the kindest to take Miss Westbury home in the car? close this office on Monday evening, we were as efficient as any in the service. At what hour was the office closed on Monday? At five. Did you close it? I'm always the last man out. Is there no night watchman to the building? There is, but he has other departments to look after as well. He's uh, an old soldier, the most trustworthy man. He didn't see anything that evening. Thank you. When you closed the office, where were the plans? In that safe. 
I put them there myself. If Cadogan West wished to enter the office after hours, he would need three keys, would he not, before he could reach these papers? Yes. Key to the outer door, key to the office, and the key of the safe. And only you and Sir James Walter had those keys? Yes, indeed. Sir James kept all three keys on one ring. They never left him. And, of course, your keys never left your possession? Never. Sir, if Cadogan West is the culprit, he must have had duplicates. Oh, he's the culprit, all right. It's dreadful to think that West, of all people, should have done such a thing. You're sure of his guilt? I see no other way. He was getting married. He wanted the money. Oh, yes. He's your man. Mr. Johnson, if someone desired to sell the plans, surely it'd be easier to make copies than to take the originals. It would need considerable technical knowledge. May I see these? And, of course, you and West and Sir James Walter had that knowledge. That may be so, but don't try to drag me into this matter, Mr. Holmes. The plans were found on West. It is certainly singular that he should risk taking the originals when he could have safely taken copies. Perhaps it was a matter of time. Ah, yes, time. Now, three plans are missing, I understand. They are the vital ones. That is so. Now, someone holding those... Three papers. I mean, could they construct a Bruce Partington submarine? I told the Admiralty that I thought it was possible, yeah. but today I'm not so sure. These all-important double valves with the automatic self-adjusting slots are drawn only on this plan, which has been returned. Would you be so kind as to close those window shutters exactly as they were on Monday night? Window shutters, certainly. Thank you so much. Yes. No, I think I'll take a little stroll outside. Oh, please don't trouble yourself. I can find my own way. Thank you.